What is up guys? Welcome back for week seven of the GBA D League. This week we are taking on Leo, aka Six Foot Hacks, and his Durham Dredagons. And uh, he just accepted our challenge, so we are about to get into this. I my heart is racing. Uh, I don't know why. I'm six and zero, oh, and um, I mean this match. At the end of the day, even if I lose it, I still have two more that I can win and guarantee playoffs. So I really shouldn't be that nervous. But at the same time, I really want to win. So Leo is, of course, the uh, season two champion for the UCL, uh, and it'd be really cool to take on the season two champion. You know, <laughs> just saying. All right, so participating team. You guys see our team on the left. On the right is what I think he's going to bring. Uh, so we'll just confirm this. And uh, I named it Leo this time. I just figured out that you can name your teams uh, in your battle boxes. So, yeah. Whew. Here we go. All right, so let the battle begin. All right, we're about to see what Leo brought for us. Let's see. Come on, Leo. Oh, my commentary might not be on point this game. We'll just see, but uh, I'm, uh, I'm a little bit shaky. All right, here we go. So he brought the Greninja Shaman, okay? So no Finny, Shaman over Finny. Okay. All right, so fewer super effective moves to hit our weakness policy Umbreon with. Uh, but we'll get rid of his Tapu Finny on the layout here. And uh, we'll add in Shaman, which is the ugliest of the sprites over here. <laughs> and we'll, uh, we'll bring him... Why is he... Hello? Come on. Why can't I get the Shaman? There it is. All right. All right, so he's up here now. Make him a little bit smaller. All right, looking at this team, uh, no Finny for Quillfish to take advantage of with the Toxic Spikes, unfortunately. Well, I mean, Toxic Spikes go up, and then they, like, pretty much stay up because his only Defogger is uh, his Aerodactyl. He does have the Dawn Fan for spin, but uh, looking at this team, I really like the... I don't necessarily like the Quillfish lead. I think I really like the Decidueye lead. Decidueye looks really solid. Yeah, let's lead with Decidueye. Kikio, you are leading off for us. All right, because I can switch into his Kyurem, I can switch into his Aerodactyl, and the only other thing that threatens my Decidueye is, is his Greninja, so yeah, we're going to lead off with Decidueye here, as we are going to get ready. He hasn't confirmed yet, but I think this is what we're going with. Whew! Here we go. I'm going to confirm. All right, let's get to our calc here. Lucas, shout out to Lucas for uh, <laughs> for reminding me to calc. Thank you, bro. Appreciate it. All right, here we go. Versus the Durham Dredagons. First time I'm taking on a UCL team. <laughs> let's see how it goes. Not that like the UCL is the best league in the world, but uh, like they're definitely one of the most popular ones. So here we go. And uh, we got the champion here. We're going to lead off with Kikio, our Decidueye. Let's see what he leads off with. It is going to be... Eddie, is this the Dawn Fan? I think it is. No, it's the Greninja. Okay. I know for a fact that I can live any hit from Greninja, even Specs. I'm just going to check that out right now. Greninja versus uh, Decidueye. Kikio. Let's just give him Choice Specs Modest. I know he's Scarf, though. <laughs> I'm already calling that out. Uh, he does a max of 87 to me. What if he's Modest? Does a max of 91, so I know I live any hits. Thing is, do I want to take a hit? My Leaf Blade knocks him out, <laughs> guaranteed, because my 60 attack investment. If he doesn't have any HP, and I think I even calced for like 72 HP, if I'm not mistaken, does min 101 to 120. So I can stay in here, or I can switch out. I think Quillfish, um, is it valuable this game? I don't know, it gets off Intimidates on the uh, Aerodactyl, which isn't bad. Uh, so yeah, I think I'm actually gonna stay in here, and I think I'm just gonna go for the Leaf Blade, the safe Leaf Blade. If he U-turns, that's good. So we'll Leaf Blade here, as he's gonna go for, he's gonna withdraw his Greninja. Okay, so what, is that a turn one prediction? Cesaro, that's the arrow, right? Yeah. Okay, so we get off a nice Leaf Blade on this thing before it Mega Evolves, which is really nice. Um, this is gonna do a good amount of damage. That's gonna do, actually, I have to bring up my HP bar. Let's see how much exactly that did. That did 35. Is he the 176 4 that I expect him to be? 176 4 Leaf Blade 45 to 50. Whoa. Hold up. That's actually pretty bulky. Um, that's really bulky. He's a super bulky arrow. Okay. So I'm going to switch out uh, directly into. 
I want to say Bakugo, because that's going to be my one opportunity to get up Toxic Spikes is going to be on this thing. And seeing as he's probably not a max attack variant, let's just take off the attack investment, for example. Um, Quillfish. Bakugo takes how much from Earthquake? 31 to 37 after the Intimidate if he has no attack. If he's max attack adamant, then I think we take 51, something like that. 50. All right, so I live two Earthquakes. We're going to Bakugo. We'll switch out. Got off some nice damage on this Aerodactyl. And uh, we'll see what Leo wants to do. I assume he's going to get up rocks. Uh, actually, his rocker is more than likely Dawn Fan. I can see this thing being a uh, three attacks, either Hone Claws or something like that. So we get in our cool fish, get off the Intimidate. Bakugo is here, and he's going to Mega Evolve, of course, because he has to. Doesn't have a choice. <laughs> and uh, he's going to become a Mega Aerodactyl. What's he going to hit me with? Or is he actually going to be rocks on this thing? He goes for Earthquake. Okay, so he predicts my cool fish. That's not a big deal, though, because I don't take half after the Black Sludge unless he crits me. So that's fine. That did uh, actually way less than half. 101 out of 171. Well, hold on. Uh, I need his Earthquake to do 101, right? Um, Hold on a second. That's not right. All right. We're going to go for a T-Spike here on this turn. Because I really want T-Spikes up. I could 2-hit KO this thing with Aqua Jet, potentially. Even if it's like a max HP variant. Why did that do so little, though? Hold on. Or so much, rather. Minus 1, 252 plus Aerodactyl is supposed to do a max of 86 to me. But he didn't do 50. Something wrong with this calc here. Is it set to singles? Yes, it is. Huh. Okay. Anyway, I'm going for T-Spikes. As Let's see what he does. He's probably not going to want to stay in on a Waterfall. I don't need this thing that much this game. I really don't. He's going to go for the Taunt. Nice play. I could have uh, potentially 2 a KO'd him with Aqua Jet, but he is going to catch me with the Taunt. And, uh... I really just want to go for a Poison Jab now. Like, realistically. Um... Jab does, like, nothing to this thing. But I could get the Poison. I also kind of expect him to switch out on a potential Water move. Uh, into something like maybe Reuniclus or uh, Kirim. Kirim is what I'm expecting the most. So he prevents me from getting up T-Spikes. Alright. Um, do I P-Jab? I think I do. Oh wait, hold on. One, 171 minus 101 is 70, is 70 damage. Okay, so he's not max attack adamant. But he very well could be Jolly and that was a mid-roll. Actually, it could, yeah, it, there's 70s in the mid-roll. Okay, I'm poison jabbing. Come to the decision that poison jabbing is the correct play, regardless of if he earthquakes or not. He's going to do quite a bit of damage once again. 121 down to 51. He got the exact same roll. All right, we're going to get off a poison jab on this thing. It's not going to do much at all. Do we get the poison? We do. Okay, cool. So we get off poison. Um, I don't care much about my T-Spikes being up or not. I'd much rather get rid of this Aerodactyl because it's a big pain in my butt uh, when it comes to... When it comes to my Thunderous Sweeping. Because my Thunderous can sweep. I have Sludge Wave for the Greninja and the Shaman. Dark Pulse for the uh, Reuniclus and the Dawn Fan. All I need to do is hit a Focus Blast against the Kirim and that can win. But I can't get up to plus two, because he has very few things to hit me super effectively on his team on Umbreon. So, we're just going to Aqua Jet. I think that's the correct play. We are going to get off quite a bit of damage here, as that is going to do quite a bit. He's going to go for the Stone Edge. He connects. Is this going to kill me? It does not. Okay, so now because he's poisoned, I think my correct play is actually to P-Jab. My Taunt wears off. Because if he attacks me, then it's a double down. He's not going to roost, right? I don't think he would roost. I think it, what he was predicting with the Earthquake was Metagross initially. But yeah, I don't need my T-Spikes necessarily this game. They're nice for Greninja. They're nice for the um, for the Kiram. But at the end of the day, if this thing is gone, Decidueye has a much nicer time in this game. Because look at his team. Like, it deals with Shaman, it deals with Reuniclus, it deals with Dawn Fan. So, um... Can't, but I can get up T-Spikes later. I can actually switch this thing out and get them up on something like Dawn Fan or his Reuniclus. 
So I'm actually going to jet. I'm just going to aqua jet and knock this thing out. So the poison didn't end up mattering too much because I think two jets might have done it. Because he was so low there at the end. He was like at three. Alright, so we're still alive. His Mega Aerodactyl is gone. It's off the layout. So Thunderous can definitely put in a lot of work. How to get a plus two into it, I have no freaking clue. Metagross is looking pretty good as well, if I can weaken the Dawn Fan severely. Depending on what his Reuniclus is. So the question is, what do I do to Reuniclus? Reuniclus. What do I do to you? <laughs> do I taunt you or do I get up a T-Spike on you? Because at this point, T-Spikes are, are like super good. Now that Arrow's gone, like you look at Shaman, yes, it has natural cure, but who cares? You look at Dawnfan, breaks the sturdy, look at Greninja and the Kirin, wears them down severely. So I think that's what we're going to try to do. We're going to try to get up T-Spikes on something like Dawnfan. And uh, he doesn't know if I have hazard removal or not, so his priority should not be to get up hazards, I think. Personally, he doesn't know if I have Defog on Decidueye or not. He's probably thinking it. So, we'll see. Leo's taking a little bit of time on this turn. Huh. I don't know why he stone edged. Did he think my Thunderous was coming in? There's Kirim. There's the Kirim. You're not Earth Power. There's no way, right? I mean, Infernape is literally only here for this Kirim. It's cool against the uh, the Shaman, I guess, but all I can do to it is U-turn anyway. So my play is always Infernape regardless. And then I can bring in my Scarf to, um, my Scarf thingamajig after. Let's see what he does. We are going to go into Ace as he's going to go for the Fusion Bolt. So we're going to see this damage right now and see how much it does. Is this Banded? What are you? Not even half. 120 out of 183. Let's bring up a calculator. Well, how, hold on. Kirim. Kirim Black with no Life Orb, because we didn't see Life Orb recoil. Whoops. Life Orb recoil. Let's say he's naughty. Max attack to Infernape. Infernape, Ace, Fusion Bolt does 43 to 51. And how much did I say? 120 out of 183. 183, that left me with 65, so that did 35 damage, which means he's not fully attack invested. In fact, he might even, even be min attack, like negative nature. Did he do that for Umbreon? I feel like he did. Okay, I personally don't, like if he stays in here, I don't agree with that play. But regardless, I'm going to go for a Will-O-Wisp, because I think it's my best play. Overall, because if I Will-O-Wisp the Dawn Fan, then we're good. We connect a Will-O-Wisp on the, uh, on the Kyurem. Does he have Earth Power? We're about to find out. Earth Power would kill. He does have Earth Power. Okay. Alright. The Kyurem's burnt. It's not as big a threat anymore. Its physical attacks are dead to me. So, uh, whoops, not Kyurem. Whoops, where's Infernape? Infernape, where are you? I think I might have appreciated the damage on Kyurem more so than the uh, the burn but uh either way i think going into are you a beery berry what are you fernie versus metagross how much do i do meteor mash 83 to 98 to no hp if he's max hp i do 72 to 83 okay he's probably a z move though is what i'm expecting so i'm gonna go to blair at this point, Blair doesn't have much that stands in its way, realistically. So I'm just going to click uh, Foul Play here. And uh, we should be able to break a sub, even if he's a negative attack nature, because his attack is so damn high. As he is going to withdraw, what's he going into? Dawn Fan? Are you Rocky Helmet? Sheamus. Okay. Interesting. The Shaman comes in. Get off of Foul Play. We're going to see how much this does. As that does... Whoa. 27. And it has no recovery. Shaman, Umbreon. What the heck did you do to your Shaman, Leo? Uh, okay, so he is a little bit bulky, actually. He has zero here. 
And if he's bold. Well, actually, no. No. He's not bulky at all. Uh, modest. Nope, he's not bulky. Alright, this scares me now. <laughs> what the heck is this thing? Alright, I'm going to Kiki on this. We're switching. Is he gonna pull a double? What's he going for? If he HP ices, it doesn't matter. Seed Flare. He's gonna go for the Spud F drop, I guess? That did a lot. 120. Okay, he's Life Orb. Alright, 129 out of 185. Out of 185. 16. Okay, so he did 30 to me with a Seed Flare to my Decidueye. Kikyo versus Shaman. Uh, seed Flare. Seed Flare. 15 to 18, so you have to be max special attack with a Life Orb. Where's Life Orb? Life Orb. Yeah, 30 is max. Okay. And he did, well, he did a little bit over 30 to me. Uh, so... Okay, yeah. So he just got a high roll. Okay. So we're gonna roost. So that we're not taking extra damage. He goes for Toxic. Good play. I saw this in one of my mocks. This is a cool tech. Uh, Spear Shackle is actually gonna do a decent amount to this thing. If it has no bulk, it's gonna do like 30 to 34. We're gonna get off a roost right here. And I wonder if he'd stay in. He probably has, um, you know, the thing. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> Synthesis? He probably has synth. But uh, I'm gonna go for Spear Shackle regardless. It's my best play overall, I think. And uh, he's a little over 60. So there is a chance that this might... Okay, so he goes to the synth. So he does have it. All right, but he is a Life Orb variant. This is a good set against me. This is a very good set against me. I like this. Spirit Shackle. All right, at least he can't move. Good. That did almost... That did about 30. Yeah, that's about right. Okay, so we're going to take 12% uh, here. I still really like the Sejuai against his team. So I'm going to keep it. Moments I wish I had U-turn right now. Um, this thing is very hard to deal with. How much does Metagross do to it? Metagross Alphonse. 48 to 56 to no, uh, no bulk. All right, so that's nice. Okay. So I think he's just Seed Flare and yeah. Do I give up on trying to win with Thunderous at this point? I know that Thunderous outspeeds his Kyurem because Infernape did. So the only thing I'm not outspeeding on his team, realistically, is the Greninja. So I feel comfortable switching into it. He's probably going to Toxic here because it's, it's a no drawback play. Or he can Synth. It's up to him. We are going to get in Thunderous as he's going to go for... Show me the Toxic. Seed Flare, okay. Alright, good, good, good. That's going to do a hefty amount of damage. And he gets the Spit F drop. Damn, okay. Would you be max speed on Shaman? Thunderous. Eneru. I can knock him out with a Sludge Wave. Uh, he's at 60, I do min 65 to no investment. Question is, is he faster than me? How much investment does he need to be faster than me? A heck of a lot. Like, an irrational amount. How much does his hidden power ice do? Hidden... Hidden power ice. Uh, to a Yachi Berry set while I'm at minus two. 55 to 65. I think I'm above that. 94 out of 163. 57. Okay, so I'm not above that at all. Um, I'm within that. Okay. I think I'm going to switch out into Alphonse. This is getting dicey. It's getting real dicey. I don't like this. Yeah, because I can still win by baton passing. I can still win by baton passing. I want to see the HP ice. Show me that you don't have earth power. Okay, we're faster. Okay, good, 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 good. So we know we're faster now. 
He goes into Kirim. Now, this is interesting because he has no idea that I'm Scarfed. And Earth Power does not knock me out. Kirim, black. Earth Power. Uh, to Metagross. But he's probably going to go into his Dawn Fen, is what I would assume. Actually, his Earth Power can... Oh, no. He's not Life Orb. 71-85 to me. And I do 83 to 98 to him. And he's taken two rounds of burn, which means unless I get a pretty low roll, I can knock him out. Uh, but that's to no HP. How about to max? Uh, 72 to 85. I think it's still worth it. I could get up rocks too. But I think breaking the sturdy is more important. Yeah, I'm going to say the breaking sturdy is more important on Dawn Fan. He's going to withdraw. Okay, cool. He's going to go into Umaga. That's probably the Dawn Fan. Yeah, let's see how much this does. We do connect. Ooh. Okay, that did a lot. That did like 45. Hello? <laughs> Why the heck did that do that much? Um... Huh? How? Oh no, that did 40. Okay, so he's no physical defense investment. Alright, so I think he earthquakes here because it covers the quillfish sack. It covers... Um, I don't think he goes for rocks. 26 out of 171. How much is quillfish at? Can I live rocks? I'm at 15. Yes, I can. So I can still bring that thing in later. I'm not staying in here. He might knock. He might knock. If he knocks, that's bad. Now I know that I too hit KO his Dawn fan, though. Okay, I'm gonna go to Bakugo. Because now I'm realizing the T spikes aren't as important, because they really only hit Greninja at this point. The Shaman heals it off, the, the Reuniclus can be Magic Guard, the Kiram's burned, and this thing's already got its sturdy broken. So I'm really only hitting the Greninja. He's gonna go for rocks. Sweet. Okay. I intimidated him. He definitely cannot knock me out with Ice Shard. That's a given. Alright, so I can still get them up for the Dawn Fan for later. That's not a problem. My Thunderous is faster than his entire team except for Greninja, but rocks are up now, so I need to be careful. Okay, we're gonna go for the T-Spikes. I should be faster than this, obviously. I'm faster than, like, a very speed-invested Finny, so... We are going to get up T-Spikes, probably just going to quake me. I wish I had U-Turn on Decidueye right about now. He's going to go for the EQ that will easily knock us out. How much does Ryuni take? Because he didn't go into it on my Infernape. He stayed in to knock me out. It's probably Chopple. Um, how much? Okay, I gotta get, uh, what's it called? Um, Bakugo off the layout. Reuniclus from my Metagross. Alphonse. 48 to 57 if he's max HP, with no defense. So I can potentially 2 it KO him. Okay, so Scarf and Metagross can win. I just need to keep Umbreon around for his Greninja. That's all I need to do. So I think I go Blair, but then his Shaman comes in anyway. I have to go Kikyo. I have to go Kikyo as much as I don't want to, but I know that his Dawn Fan is not physical, uh, physically defensive, physically defense invested. Physical defense invested, I want to say. Anyway, um, let's see. I thought I wasn't recording for a second. Uh, Decidueye, Decidueye, Kikyo, Leaf Blade. To Don Fan does 49 to 58. His knockoff to me does 57 to 68, so it wouldn't kill after poison. I don't think. No, because I'm at 70. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a little a little under 70. So unless he gets an absolute max roll. Um. I'm just gonna leaf blade. His game plan is really good. I like this. He might just go straight into Shaman, is what I'm thinking. 
Because he doesn't need this as much anymore. Man. If I could have Wish Baton passed into my Thunderous, that would have been amazing right now. Because Thundy could do it. Thundy could easily do it. I'm looking at his team and it, it drops everything. I, I didn't even need the plus two. He's probably Choppel on his Kirim though, so that makes sense. So I could be Energy Ball right now, he has to account for that. He's gonna withdraw, isn't he? No, he goes for Ice Shard, okay. That doesn't do enough to me. Why did you go for Ice Shard, Leo? Leaf Blade is not gonna knock him out, obviously. Okay. Scarfed Gren, at this point, is the only thing that stops Metagross. Are you gonna Ice Shard when I can switch into Metagross, is the question. Would you do that? I don't think you do. So I'm gonna Leaf Blade again. Shackle should kill, right? 21. I'm not I'm not chancing that. I'm leaf blading. He's gonna ice shard again. Okay. So my decidui is extremely low. I don't even know if it can switch in on rocks anymore. But we are gonna knock out his Dawn fan, which is gonna be nice for Metagross. As there's no way that he can take a hit anymore. We already had it in that range anyway, but that's fine. I'm gonna lose 12% here, but I'm well above 20. Uh, do I lose 12 or... I think 12, yeah. 39, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely out of range of rocks. And his Dawn Fan is down. Hmm. So what does he do here? Does he go into Kirim? His Kirim can't really deal with my Umbreon anymore, though. That's like the one saving grace. It's just that I have, like, nothing for his Shaman. I have to rely on smacking it with, uh, with Meteor Mashes at this point. Good news is he doesn't have a good Sludge Wave switch in anymore. So there's that. Could he be AV? Could he be AV Kirim? Did he need that much, like, reliable- that many reliable things for my Thunderous? Because he had the Dawn Fan. The Dawn Fan was clearly specially defensive. Because it didn't 2 hit KO my Decidueye, but it also took a ton from Meteor Mash and Leaf Blade. So I'm gonna go to Blair. Blair is pretty safe, I would say. And I think Thunderous switches in twice on Stealth Rocks as well. So that's really nice. Let's see what he goes for. Does he show me a Z move? Ice Beam. Don't freeze me, please. That did nothing. Alright, we're fine. I'm going to Moonlight here. Uh, why am I choosing Pokemon? I'm definitely going to Moonlight. Let's see if he plays for the freeze. He knows that I can wish, but he hasn't seen my set yet. Like, at all. I think all he's seen is Foul Play. He's about to see Moonlight. Should I live, of course. Which, I should live a Freeze Shock. If that's what he has, or is he Outrage? But I think he's AV. AV or Choppel are like the two things in my head right now. Assault Vest, Choppel Berry. <clears throat> Let's see what he does. I can taunt the Reuniclus, which is really nice. I don't think I can let my Umbreon get toxic until his Shaman is only like one of the only things left. Not to mention I need it for Greninja. So... Let's see what he does. 25 minutes in. We're not looking too strong. I'm going to say it's a 4-4, but like Leo's heavily in, in the lead right now. Because he still has that Shaman. That Shaman does so much to me. But I know for a fact that it's slower than Thundee because we switched out on the same turn. We're not having the same problem as, as last week against Jack. Is he going to withdraw? Yeah. Shaman? Show me the Shaman? Yeah. Okay. Cool. That's fine. T-Spikes are up, right? Okay, so he gets poisoned every time. I forgot T-Spikes were up. Nice. Okay, that's going to help against Greninja as well, because Foul Play is the only thing I have to hit it anyway. Okay, he hasn't shown me his last move yet. So... Um, I know that the combination of Foul Play plus Poison does a ton of damage to him. So, I'm going to go for Foul Play. Regardless of what he does, I can take anything. He's going to go for Synthesis. 
I wish I had two layers up right now, but I don't. It's fine. He's only got six synths left. I'm gonna write that down, actually. Six synthesis. Alright, we're gonna foul play. I'm gonna do a little bit of damage to this. Plus poison. Thing is, he can't keep taking this. I'm gonna switch out into Metagross on this turn, because I can take an Earth Power even if he has it. And I don't care about rocks. So let's go into Metagross. I doubt he would synth again on this turn. And Reuniclus doesn't take Meteor Mash well unless it's very defensive. That's something to keep in mind. I'm gonna bring in Alphonse, see what he does. Does he go for the Seed Flare? Yeah. He connects. Cool. Metagross has good spit You can take this. Okay, maybe not as well as I thought. He does take Life Orb, does take Poison. Alright, so that leaves him real low. Alright, so I'm firing off a Meteor Mash. He probably doesn't expect to be slower than me. But I am going to Meteor Mash. Knock this thing out, because it's the only thing standing in Umbreon's way. Would he be Trick Room? I think he might be Trick Room or Uniclus, because he's kept it in the back for so long, and he never brought it in on things like Infernape and this Metagross. He doesn't want it to take damage. So I, I sincerely think that he's Trick Room. I can knock out a Shaman from here with Meteor Mash. And if he lets this go down right now, then Umbreon has a field day against his team, because I can taunt the Reuniclus and keep it from getting up Trick Room. And I can pretty much stall out the Kyurem and the Greninja, at least I would hope so. I only have seven Moonlights as well, so I have to keep that in mind. So, let's see. He is going to... I'm going to attack. And I miss. Oh my god. Live. I don't live rocks. Crap! No. Damn. I have to lock myself in a Meteor Mesh. That's so annoying. Alright, good news is we're going to find out if his Greninja is scarfed or not. Because that's what probably comes in next. That's really annoying. That would have killed. I could have brought this in later. So now I really have to rely on Umbreon. That sucks. That really sucks. Okay, now I need to know if his Reuniclus is uh, max HP Trick Room versus my Thunderous. How much do I do with the Dark Pulse? <sighs> 50 to 60. Okay. All right, at least that. Okay, come on. Could also be Regenerator. You never know. But it's probably Magic Guard. Is what I'm thinking. I connect this one. Good. <clears throat> Alright, if his Greninja comes in now, it's either Scarfed or he doesn't want his Reuniclus taking any damage. So hitting that would have been really nice. Um, Shaman, where are you? Where did I leave you? You're down here. Goodbye. <sighs> You're Trick Room, aren't you? Damn it. I can't keep it as a sack. I have to Meteor Mesh. Show me the Trick Room. Oh my god, really? He's Calm Mind. Wait. Wait, that changes everything. Hold on. I think I might have this, guys. I'm getting that feeling again. <sighs> oh, this song. Oh, wait, 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 hold on. That changes everything. I have Haze. Not only do I have Haze, this thing is going to take a million from Spirit Shackle. I can't believe I missed that again. Stop missing, Metagross, please. I know you haven't missed many all, all season, but come on. That did nothing. Psychic. Okay. I have Taunt. And I have Foul Play. Metagross is gone. I have Taunt and I have Foul Play. How much does this... Okay, Metagross just did how much to this? Like, 35, 40? Meteor Mash to a max defense variant. Uh, Bolt. Yeah, and how much does the Sigui do to it? Spirit Shackle. 41 to 50. Not enough. So I have to go into Blair. 
And I know he has something for it. He has to. Well, then again. Do I? Hold on. Do I just haze this first? I think I haze this first. And then I go into Umbreon. I taunt him. He doesn't have boosts anymore. <sighs> this is tough. Oh, if only those two Meteor Mashes would have hit. He'd be low enough to die to Spear Shackle right now. I can't even... I don't even remember if I saw Leftovers or not now. Damn it. Okay, we don't need Kikyo for anything else, so we're going to go into it now. That's that's my idea, is we don't need Kikyo for anything else. So now or never, we come in now. Do I live poison? The first round. Six out of... or 16, rather. Sorry if you guys heard that. 16... Come on. 16 out of 185. 8%. Yes, I do. Hold on. So if I haze, I can still shackle on the following turn. Even if he recovers up. Yeah. So we're going to haze. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Haze. We know he's Magic Guard. I don't think I saw leftovers. I did 40 to him with the Meteor Mash. Roughly. He's not absolute max. He's like 204 or something like that. We're gonna haze. We're gonna get rid of his stat boosts. I'm assuming he's just going to attack me or recover. Recover. Yeah. Okay, so he has Recover, Calm Mind, Psychic. Did he not bring anything to hit Cresselia? I forgot I have leftovers. Of course. I was always living that. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> I'm gonna roost. I'm gonna roost on this turn because he does not appreciate being shackled and I can always get rid of his boosts. So I'm gonna roost. Let's see what his last move is. If he can't touch Umbreon, I think we might be okay. If Shadow Ball is his only move to hit Umbreon, I think we're okay. Goes for Calm Mind, that's fine. I don't care. Okay, so how much is Spirit Shackle doing again? Decidueye, Kikyo. 42 to 50. That's actually pretty good damage. If I crit him, that would be phenomenal. You might think that I can't stop him from boosting, but I can stop him from boosting and recovering. So I'm going to Shackle first, I think. Plus one Shadow Ball could kill me, but if it's Shadow Ball, does plus one Psychic kill me? From no investment, non-life orb, plus one. 45 max. I'm at 98 out of 185. Huh. No, 98 divided by 185. I'm at 52. I get recovery and... Yeah, I think I could live it. There's a chance that I live it. Um, He has to have something. It's Signal Beam. Signal Beam. That makes sense. We're going to haze. I need to make sure that he doesn't end up with a boost. Because then Umbreon's screwed. Psychic. Okay, please knock me out. Wait, that wouldn't knock me out. Of course not. Hello? Unless he crits it. Oh, yes! Let's go! That's actually amazing for me. Blair. Come on in. Alright, we're gonna taunt this thing right now. You are not doing anything else, my friend. You are not boosting up anymore. No, 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 no. No more of that crap. And the thing is, if he hits me with a signal beam, one, it's not going to hit me too hard because it's at zero, like at plus zero. And two, I get my weakness policy. <laughs> so that'll be fun. And then I can pass that into, uh, into Thingamajig. Into Thunderous. Okay. Taunt. 
What are you going for? Yeah, that's what I thought. No, 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 no. Get out of here. Foul play. Show me what you got. Is it signal beam? You're attacking me, so it must be something. Yeah, that's what I thought. How much is it gonna do? Not that much. We're gonna get our weakness policy. All right, cool, 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 cool. Thing is, if he psychics, if he signal beams, he doesn't knock out thunderous. If he psychics, I'm gonna moonlight. If he psychics, then he doesn't hit me. So he has to be cautious about what he does here. He doesn't knock out thunderous with a signal beam. There's no freaking way. There's the signal beam again. How much am I at now? 99. Oh no. Come on. No, 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 no. No. How much did Kirim do to me earlier? I didn't take a note of it. Damn. Kirim Black. With Ice Beam, Max Special Attack, Rash. Oh wait, he only does 45. No Life Orb, 34. That's not bad. Okay, so... We are going to attempt to Baton Pass this into Thunderous. If he Signal Beams, we're good, right? Because Thunderous, Eneru from a Signal Beam from a Reuniclus that has no boosts. Uh, signal beam with zero special attack investment, no life orb, not quiet, you are bold. Does like 13%. Psychic does 49 max. I would die because, you know. Okay, I gotta try. Don't hit yourself, please, 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 please. Oh my god. And he signal beamed. He actually signal beamed. Wow! That's just ridiculous. I'm a little bit upset. I'm not gonna lie. A little bit upset. Because I think I had this, if it wasn't for that. I think I might have been able to pull it out. Multiple instances, in fact. I mean... Probably doing a little over half to me at this point, right? <laughs> There's no point in keeping Umbreon. I'm gonna try to improve differential. Please don't hit yourself, come on. Nice, okay. So we get the baton pass off, which is nice. Into Thunderous. Rocks are up, so I'm gonna take 25. Goes for Calm Mind, he won't live. Wait, can I live an Ice Beam from Greninja? Wait a minute. Greninja, Ice Beam, non-Protean, non-Life Orb. Thirty, twenty-nine to thirty. How much am I at? One sixty-three. Oh my God! I can live an Ice Beam from Timid. Holy crap. First of all, please knock this out. Oh my god, I passed the confusion? No way. Oh. Okay, there's still a slight chance. If he goes for Ice Beam, my Yachi Berry pops. If I live it, and I don't hit myself, I can win this. Sludge Wave... Plus two, does 101 to 119. With the poison, it doesn't matter how much HP investment he has. He might not be max special attack either. <sighs> oh my god. I'm hitting Sludge Wave. He went for Dark Pulse. Snort. Yep. <laughs> GG, Leo. You broke the streak. Good job.
a little bit of a haxy game, but I'm not going to complain. I've had a little bit of luck in my favor over the course of the season, so GG to my man. We're going to sack the Umbreon to the rocks, and that's going to be that. Wow. <laughs> Damn. He did it. That confusion sucked. Because I think Umbreon would have still been able to take on uh, Greninja and the, uh, the Kirim on its own. I really do, because poison and foul play and whatnot. Oh, that's depressing. All right. Well, it's a 2-0 loss. It's not that big a deal. It's a 2-0 loss. So, uh, yes, I would like to save this battle video. Thank you very much. Uh, so that's going to wrap it up, guys. Guys, go check out Leo. He's an amazing player. Obviously, you guys know that. He's the first person to beat me in the GBAD League. So make sure to go and check him out in the description down below. Um, the gimmick didn't exactly work. Uh, it almost did, but he didn't bring Finny. So that kind of messed me up. But uh, don't worry. I won't be bringing any uh, gimmicks to playoffs, Leo. You can... Uh, you can bet your butt about that. So, uh, yeah, guys, like I said, go and check them out in the description. Leave a like if you did enjoy this game. If you're uh, happy that we finally lost or if you're sad, regardless, leave a like for me. And uh, make sure to, uh, to subscribe if you have not already. And I will catch you guys later. Ciao.